welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching if you're new I'm Paola and welcome thank you so much for being here with me so today we're gonna be playing around with some liquid lipstick and I'm gonna be doing a review which is the first review I ever do on my channel so bear with me but we're gonna be doing the Lick liquid lipstick this is a uh, new brand is the Lick Long Lasting Matte Liquid Lip Paint and I only have one of them but I just wanted to try one of them first to see if I liked it and then I can see if I want to get more. Um, so this is again from Lick Cosmetics. It is a new brand. I just saw it at Kohl's on display. They don't really have a website yet. It hasn't launched yet. So if you want to get a hold of these, they're on the Kohl's website and they are $12 a piece. So just to give you a little rundown of this new brand, um, so I just saw this about a month or two months ago at Kohl's, which is why I decided to pick it up. It is $12, as I said, again. And they do have a lot of products. Sorry, I'm looking down. I'm just looking down at my monitor. So they have Madico lipsticks, which is what I have. I got the shade Saddle. They also have metallic lipsticks. They have cream lipsticks. They have lip plumpers, lip masks. They have lip balms. They have effect powders for lips. They have lip primers, lip liners, color correctors, just everything you can imagine for lips, they have it. So again, in this product, there are 0.11 ounces, which is around, this is the exact same amount of product that there would be in a normal Anastasia Beverly Hills Deco Lipstick, which is one of my favorite formulas. So you're getting the same amount of product, but this is $12.00 this is $20 so if this works it is actually a really good deal so it just comes in a very standard gray packaging which reminds me a lot of Hourglass Cosmetics um, their lipsticks come in like gray packaging and it's like this same material which is just very sleek looks very fancy and what really surprises me is that these are not really that expensive so today we're just gonna see how long they last I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna keep it on throughout the day right now it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon it's 2 51 it's almost 3 so I'm just gonna keep this all night all afternoon to see if it lasts if it smudges because this website says that this is a highly pigmented and rich formula that gives your lips the color they crave it is long-lasting and smudge proof this degree lip paint perfects your pout it has 0.11 fluid ounces it is a matte finish so it's supposed to be completely matte they do have other products that are not matte if you don't prefer these and it says that you have to apply a weightless liquid formula generously to your lips allow to dry for a matte finish so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna apply this and then we're gonna see how long it takes to dry and then i'm gonna be back to tell you if it's just how it feels if it's too drying if it feels good on my lips if it lasts and if it's streaky or anything so i'm gonna apply it on camera for you guys so this is what the applicator looks like it looks a lot like the Smashbox liquid lipstick applicator. I don't know if they changed it, but this is what it used to look like. It's just very pointed. This, and it's actually a really good length, so let's get to putting this on. Right off the bat, it is really pigmented. I really like the color. It reminds me a lot of the Tarte lip paints. It has the same feeling. It doesn't... It has a very faint, like, vanilla smell. It doesn't smell bad at all. So I just did my bottom lip. Right off the bat, I really, really like this applicator. The point makes it super easy to get on the edges and not mess up your lipstick, which I really appreciate because if you have, like... A really big applicator it's like really really hard to get sharp lines and I really don't feel like messing up my lipstick so so far so good I'm gonna do the top lip and I just dumped in once but I'm gonna dunk it one more time for my top lip I do this with every liquid lipstick because I want it to be opaque it's not streaky at all which I really like So when I put the second, when I did the second part of my top lip, it did get kind of streaky on the edge. So I'm going to dunk it in one more time and top it all off. 
Okay, so the lipstick is on. I'm just gonna wait until it dries. It is around 255, so I'm just gonna kind of count the minutes it takes to dry. It's still kind of wet. First impressions, it is actually really nice. I really love the applicator. And so far, so good. It wasn't really streaky. Um, kind of on the last part of this part of my lip, it got kind of streaky on the edge. But I just put a second layer over it and it is just fine. It is still drying, so I'm going to wait till it completely dries. I hope it doesn't take too long. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you guys just a swatch of this lip color. This is what it looks like right there. I really like this color. It's like right up my alley. So one thing I'm noticing is that it feels kind of sticky when I put my lips together and I really, I really don't like that. So just a little bit more facts about this lipstick. This is cruelty free. So if you're a cruelty free person and you like cruelty free products, then this is an amazing product for you. Okay guys, so it's been five minutes since I first applied my lipstick and it did dry. It's not really coming off on my fingers, just a little bit on the corners, on the edges. But what I'm noticing is that it is kind of sticky on the outer part of my mouth, which I don't really enjoy. But it is really opaque. It's not really cracking. Um, this is what it looks like up close. It's kind of patchy right here. But overall, what I think as a first impression, um, I mean, it is really nice. It did dry down. It is completely matte. It does not feel drying at all on my lips. But I'm going to keep it for a couple of more hours. I'll be back in around 6 to 7 hours to tell you my final thoughts. Well, hey guys. So, now it's around 6 o'clock. So, I've been wearing this lipstick for around 3 hours now. I already had dinner and everything. And I have to say, it barely faded right in the inner part of my mouth and that happens to every other lipstick I have to all my Anastasia ones, the Tarte ones, the MAC ones they all fade when I eat so that's not really shocking me at all I do have to say that this formula is actually really really good I've been wearing it for three hours it doesn't feel drying whatsoever and I know before this check-in I said that it was kind of sticky at the corners of my mouth um, but that kind of went away after around 20 minutes. So I first applied it at 2 o'clock. Uh, actually, no. I applied it at 3 o'clock. And at around 3.20 was when it com completely dried down. So that's one of the drawbacks. One of the only drawbacks it has is that it did took a while. It did take a while to dry down completely matte and non-sticky. But after it did, it is completely smudge proof. Nothing goes, comes off on my fingers, which is great. But what I really want to do is just put another layer to see how it layers. Because I feel like whenever you wear a lipstick all day long and you eat throughout the day, you tend to just re just touch up. So I'm going to touch up and I'm going to see if it balls up, if it gets all cr crinkly. And then I'll wear it for another three hours until 9 o'clock. And that's uh, when I'll do my last check-in. So I do have to say it applied very nicely as you can see it is still very wet but it didn't ball up on the corners of my mouth it didn't have that white line either that you get with some lipsticks and it just it layered perfectly fine it looks like I just applied it right now it wasn't patchy or anything so so far this is getting like an A plus but I'm gonna give it three more hours and then I'll give you my final thoughts because I mean it hasn't been that long um but i feel like six hours of wear with a touch up in the middle is like perfect that's usually what i do throughout the day so yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit well hello guys it is now nine o'clock and i think that this lipstick gets a big thumbs up from me definitely a hit it is so awesome i had it for another three hours and it still hasn't cracked it's not blotchy I put another layer on it last check-in I did and it didn't ball up it's just absolutely an amazing product it didn't dry up my lips it still feels really good I can keep it for like another three more hours it wouldn't really matter to me it's overall a great product just to go over some facts again this is from 
Lick Cosmetics. It is $12 a piece. You get 0.11 ounces, which is the same standard amount that you get in any other liquid lipstick. But it is way more affordable and it looks really nice. It feels really heavy. And I overall really recommend this product. I really like it. You can find it exclusively at Kohl's since um, the Lick Cosmetics is actually very new and they don't have their website set up yet. But that will be up soon if you look it up. And yeah, this brand also has a, a lot of other products and I can't really wait to try them. And again, and this is not sponsored or anything, I mean, I just bought this myself at Kohl's and it's actually really good. And I love it and I highly recommend this. So if you see these at Kohl's, you should definitely get them because they do feel really high end and really nice on the lips. And it still looks nice. Um, However, one of the flaws that I do find in it is that it takes a long time to dry. After I put my second coat, it took around 20 minutes for it to completely dry and for it to not be sticky. And when I put it on at 3 o'clock, it took it about 20 minutes to completely dry. So that's the only um, fault I see in this product. And when I first applied it, it was kind of patchy right in this part of my lip. But then I put another layer and it didn't even feel more drying or anything. So that didn't really bother me. I really like the applicator and the color and they do have a good color selection. However, with the color, some brands do have a really different formula in different colors. And this is the only color I have tried. So this is the only color I'm going to approve. It is the matte lip paint and saddle. I guess that the lighter colors are really good like this one, but I haven't tried really dark shades yet, so I can't really say that they're all amazing, but this one is definitely amazing, definitely a go from me, and I hope you guys can try it. Well, you guys, that is, this for, that is it for this first impressions. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and share this video if you know of anyone that might be interested in this product, or if you saw this at Kohl's and you were just wondering what it was all about then I think it is actually really good and you could get it and if this helped you in any way please please give it a big thumbs up it really helps my channel and I appreciate you guys watching my channel it's it means a lot so yeah thank you so much for watching and until next time I'll see you next week